Welcome to the Mix2 in series, a collection of videos related with the trends in Innova vaccination, given by renowned experts from the poultry industry. These short interviews will bring you the latest updates in the hatchery world, covering topics such as Innova sexing, hatchery biosafety, and on-farm hatch. Moreover, you will have the opportunity to learn more about the new player in prevention, the unique Innovo vaccine against coccidiosis. Stay tuned for the Mix to Win series. Are there any objectives in Innovo vaccination that are yet to be accomplished? Innovo vaccination has been carried out in a very good way for over 30 years. But it's not strange if you think that the technology we had back then is quite limited compared to what we have now, especially if we think about the injection itself. The devices we have in the market now, they have what we call blind injection, meaning that the device doesn't know where the vaccine is going to be injected and we do not receive a feedback from the device of where the vaccine was injected. New technologies are emerging, and I can mention SmartVac, for example. SmartVac has a pack of sensors that allows the injection to be guided, so the device knows where the vaccine is going to be injected. And this allows 100% of the injection in the amniotic fluid. How do you envision Innovo vaccination 10 years from now? Innovo vaccination is sure to gain ground because of all the advantages it brings to the industry. However, I do see room for improvement specifically regarding the data. Information like speed of the process, embryo size and inoculation site could be connected to other information generated by the hatchery to gain value for the process. Does the adoption of Innovo vaccination follow the same trend in all regions? The level of adoption of Innovo vaccination is affected by many characteristics, as you can imagine. I'd like to mention the vaccination culture. Countries or markets where Marek vaccine is applied for a long time already tends to be a higher adoption of Innova vaccination. On the other hand, markets where the inactivated vaccines are applied at day or cheek have it more difficult. Is it true that Innovo vaccination is becoming an increasingly prevalent method for broiler vaccination worldwide? Yes, absolutely. Um, although the, the prevalence of the Innovo vaccination can vary, uh, by, by region, the, the adoption of this method uh, for broiler vaccination is clearly an increasing trend uh, worldwide. Uh, in fact, uh, for example, in the Americas and particularly in countries like the US, Argentina or, or Brazil, the adoption of Innovo vaccination is already uh, remarkably high, uh, reaching approximately 90%. What do you believe are the primary reasons accounting for this rise? The rise of uh, Innova vaccination in broilers can be attributed to several factors, but I think maybe mainly we could point out two. Uh, from one side, the enhanced efficiency and uh, precision uh, of the vaccination uh, process, as uh, with Innova vaccination, we are ensuring that each chick receives uh, a consistent and precise uh, dose. And also uh, the fact that in general, in general, we see a better bird performance thanks to the, this early protection that the Innova offers and the fact that we are minimizing the post high stress. What advancements in vaccine development are anticipated to complement or enhance the effectiveness of Innovo vaccination? There are many advancements ongoing uh, with the objective to complement or enhance you know, the effectiveness of Innovo vaccination. Uh, among them, for example, we could say the development of novel vaccine platforms or uh, new immunomodulation strategies. Um, however, I would say that uh, still most of the, the efforts are focused on, on designing multivalent or combinative vaccines that can uh, target uh, multiple pathogens simultaneously, uh, and this with the aim to provide broader protection against uh, several diseases with just one uh, simple Innova administration. The future of the Innovo vaccination. We are convinced uh, the future of broiler vaccination lays on uh, Innovo, 
new uh, technologies involving both the vaccine and devices have arrived uh, and this for sure will help to improve current experiences.